All right, so I just sat here chatting away for like an hour and the camera wasn't recording. And I don't know why. Just likes to do that to me. <laughs> Oops, I dropped one of my strips on the floor. Oh, I hate when that happens because then I don't know where to where to begin. So I'm sitting here at work. It's April 19th. Uh, 2.50 in the morning and I'm making paper beads and I started out using some of the mixed media paper that uh, I made watching the Pink Poodle crafts on Wednesdays. Uh oh, this is not glued. <clears throat> Um, so I cut up some of those papers. Um, and so they're here. Like here's one that's kind of neat with the sparkles. I think that's that Angeline Fibers. And here's one that just happened to have some metallic paint on it. That's like a little long for me. This is a two inch. Um, and then I used, um, cause I didn't want to use like a whole strip of the painted paper. The core of it is um, cardstock, but I think I used kind of a, might've been too thick of a thick of a cardstock I don't know but so I did like a whole 12 inch strip of that and then went when and then just did the outside layer with the painty paper but these are pretty fat so then I decided to cut in half the strips of the cardstock like this and then I wound up with this size, which is much better. And now I got tired of doing that. <laughs> oh, you missed it. I got tired of it and you missed it. Um, so I started um, doing these shape and why these don't look exactly the same size. I don't know. Um, and for those, I'm just using, um, I haven't cut this yet, of course, this pattern, this pattern, this pattern, this pattern. Hope we're not going too fast. Just remember, I've been here already. And I'm sure I talked about very important things. And now you've missed out on my brilliance. Okay, here's the ones I have started cutting up. That's one side. And then this one, of course, I thought was going to be oh so cool with the words, but uh, you know, then when you actually get the bead, not so much. What words, <laughs> you know? And then I forgot again to um, <sighs> ink the edges. So when you look at it sideways, it looks white. This one, I did ink the edges. And now if you look sideways, it looks brown. So I guess whatever you prefer, I prefer the brown as opposed to the white. But anyway, that's where I'm at. 
And I'm cold now. So I haven't used these yet. Ooh, shiny. I'm thinking that could go on the outside. That'd be a nice shiny bead. Or I could just keep them in my painty paper box at home and use them for something else. I don't know. Um, so let's see. I guess I could show you some of the. I didn't actually use this one for a bead yet. Um, I'm going to take it home and iron it because I remember when I was making this, I didn't like how it was turning out. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll add texture. And I crumpled it up and threw it aside. <laughs> it was, I was kind of actually mad at it and crumpled it up and then said, oh, no, I was just making texture. So, but now it doesn't, I don't see where I'd be able to make a bead out of that. But here's a piece before it's rolled up. Here's a piece. And some of them, you know, you think, oh, they're going to be great. And then, you know, you roll them and you get like blue and a little bit of red. <laughs> Or this one, really disappointing. You know, <laughs> that's like out of this paper. So you would think it'd be more exciting than that, but apparently, where I wound up, it wasn't. So that's kind of the risk you take. Um, some of these fat ones. I like, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. Maybe I'll use them as some kind of a, oh yeah, maybe instead of um, doing like a whole bead cluster thing, I could just stick this on top of my glue pin. Huh? I could glue that in there. That's a good idea. Because I was thinking of doing like that whole little cluster thing, but I, I didn't want it to be too big. Hmm. Of course, it's not on there good enough. Oh, yeah, it is. Excellent. Because then, you know, you're not as likely to lose the pin. My fingers are freezing right now. So yeah, so I'm rolling up like half of this. I did the whole thing, but they came out too fat. So then I went to half. And then once you get, you roll it to the end, then you put glue and you add your painty paper. And then when you roll it up, you know, you just have to go around once. And then, so then it's covered in this paper. And I'm sorry, I may have the energy to do that later, and I may not. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. My back hurts because I have bad posture for no other reason. And so what I'm doing to make this size and shape bead... is and this one came out more round though you know that's what like more fat round i don't know we'll see ah but now my fingers are cold let me see if this is still recording because last time it shut off and i think it went into slow mo Ugh. I had that happen to me one time. I did like this whole recording and I went to play it back and it was 
you know. And you couldn't even like speed it up and make it interesting. It just was not good. All right, so I'm using my paper trimmer and I'm using these numbers down here so I have no idea. what measurement that is. Are those centimeters? I don't know. It's just, it runs along this um, grid and that's kind of why I chose it. And these are my starting off straight pieces. This is exciting stuff. I talked about doing my taxes and not getting my stimulus check yet and kind of wondering why. And if you go to the IRS webpage, it just says, oh, if you filed 2018 and 2019 taxes you have you, you don't have to do any more like don't call us we'll call you kind of thing ha well everybody else got theirs at least in the chat room I was in <laughs> Oh, yeah, because it came up because, um, you know, that whole marriage thing always just kind of, I never understood it. And especially when people start treating each other like crap. I just don't get it. Like, you can't even be friendly or fair or, you know, you have to be, like, mean. So, like when you f file your taxes, you know, you don't include, you lie and cheat so that you get all the money. I don't know. And the, and the other person is just supposed to starve to death, apparently. I don't know. And especially when there are kids involved, that really irks me. It's like you had kids, Pay for your kids. You know, quit being like, oh, well, I don't want my spouse to get the money. Well, then figure out how to get the money to the kids or get them their supplies that they need, food and clothes and, you know, sporting equipment or whatever the hell they need. I don't know, figure it out. Do they act like it's almost like it's not their kid anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I never had to go through that with my parents, luckily. But I, you know, just seems like a pretty crappy place to be for a kid when your parents can't, you know, like they hate each other. Those are the people that I just like, what? You know, wasn't that long ago it was, oh, you complete me and you're my other half and
And they spend, you know, how much on a stupid wedding proving it. And, and have children. And then all of a sudden we hate each other. Can't stand to be in the same room. You know? <laughs> I just don't get it. You complete me. What did I do to this poor piece of paper? So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. And I'm not saying it's not for anybody. I just don't think it's for everybody. And, you know, some people are just so, they got to have the husband and the kids. And it's like, that's their plan. And, ugh. That apparently they're choosing the wrong <laughs> wrong person to one two three four five so I need one one more but anyway that's not really a new situation it's just one that bugs me Yeah, there's one girl on there that apparently $2,400 was given to her and her husband, but it got sent to him because he did the taxes, and then he, like, gave her 200 or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, okay. That's close. So then I was like, I just was assuming that since I was retired, getting a pension, and have a part-time job, that, you know, I wouldn't be getting any of the stimulus money. I thought it was more for people that were out of work. But, I don't know. So... I don't know. I guess like on Tuesday, uh, cause I I did the little web page thing to like, where's mine? And it it says, oh, we don't have one for you. But if you filled out a, you know, if you did your taxes for 2018 and 2019 and or I guess. Um, there isn't anything more for you to do. We'll check will be in the mail. So I can only guess that because I owed taxes this year that, you know, but I did my taxes and I gave them my bank account number and within a day, they took the money out of my account, I would think that they would know that, oh, she didn't get her stimulus check. Let's not take all of her money. But no, they didn't do that. They just took, 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 took. Thieves. <laughs> Lying. Thieves. I should call President Trump. Two, three. Oh boy, and the, the Trump haters are 
out in full force. I missed I miss a lot of what he says because I don't watch everything that he says, you know. But apparently he said something about people that are getting the paper checks. He wants his signature on the check before they get them. So they had to put him on hold in order to reprint or do something to get his signature on the check. I don't know if that's true or not, because I, I didn't hear it, but I haven't watched the news in a long time. Although, can you believe the news? I don't know. Seems like a silly thing, but who knows? He does say some silly th things sometimes. I'm going to turn this heater on. Somebody turned it so I can't see it. It's cold in here. I wonder what the temperature is. Where's my phone? Rosemary Morris added a photo in Rusty Peacock. I'll have to look that up. Rosemary, um, Rosemary Morris, she has a YouTube channel and um, she does some really fun stuff. And one of the things that she's um, doing is, uh, well, she's doing these caboodles, which I don't know what caboodle means. I could look it up, I guess, but um, it could be an altered book or some kind of journal type of thing, um, like an art journal. And I actually became interested in the funky fish caboodle that she's doing. And I keep missing her lives um, to watch her, what she's doing. It's not really a class or anything. It's just her doing hers. And then I think most of us are just watching her going, wow. Because <laughs> she does some cool stuff. And, um, but I did buy a kit from her. That's the first time I've ever done that. And I did plan to play along like at the time, but I get so busy watching what she's doing you know, and getting ideas from her that it's like, why would I be doing anything, you know? But then when I'm off not watching her, I'm not doing it either, so. <sighs> I tell you. And that's why I don't do, like, um, those trades or couldn't update your forecast. Oh, crap. All I want to know is what the temperature is. Um, yeah, I was going to try to figure out. Uh oh. I had a message from my boss that didn't come through. What? Would one of you like to cover the night shift tonight, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m.? Never mind, got it covered. What does that mean? That's, I'm here from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Saturday and Sunday.
Hmm. I mean, I guess I don't know what time he sent it because the clock will say what time the message came through. Huh. But either way. <laughs> huh. Maybe he lost his mind. Anyway, that was interesting. Well, that just shows you our Wi-Fi here sucks. Oh yeah, it's going to the Weather Channel. 43 and fair, feels like 37. So yeah, that's kind of cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's gonna get colder. <laughs> hmm. Then around eight o'clock, then it's gonna start an up sweep. By the time I come back to work tonight, it'll be almost 50 degrees. Nice. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing when he sent that message. Because he sent it before I came in last night. I mean, I could see if I'm getting ready for work and I'm out of the room, you know, kind of thing, but. Or did he send it, you know, days ago? <laughs> well, it should, let me see. No, it seems like anything I got days ago. Oh well, it doesn't take much to confuse me. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So now, did I get any tapered ones yet? Does it look like it? Isn't this fun? All right, so I'll quit cutting. I don't think I'll do this for like hours and hours filming or recording. I'll just show the next step. First you cut, then, because I don't like the white core, I like the darker core. I will be using my little Distress Ink Vintage Photo. Oh yes, and I told the story how I think I was doing these last week and um, on the tapered ones I wind up getting ink on my fingers and it's a color that's uh, not all that attractive. You know, it looks like you didn't wash your hands. <laughs> 
like maybe you didn't use the toilet paper properly and then you didn't wash your hands afterwards is what it looks like <laughs> it's a beautiful color really i recommend it um Oh, why am I doing that one? Because I didn't do a tapered one. Ugh, Shelly. Right, let's do this one. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, yeah, we did a, a Zoom gathering for Madre's birthday. Candace was on there. She's from Nevada. 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 And Tynan and Noel and the doggies and the bunny. She had the whole fam damly. And then Madre's sister and her husband. I don't think we got to see Charlotte, their doggy. And then her nieces and one of the nieces' husband and their dog, Murphy. I'll mention his name. He's like this dog I'm in love with. I've never even met him. But he's on Facebook a lot. <laughs> and at Halloween, he dresses up. So cute. Of course, he's not a puppy. Well, he'll always be a puppy, but he's a senior dog, but he's still, uh, dresses up for Halloween. <laughs> Such a good boy. And let's see, on Rick and Mod, we're on, so we had two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven people? No, I can't count. Did I count Rick and Maude already? Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, and then Madre made nine, I think. I don't know. There's a lot of people. <laughs> it was kind of cool. It only lasts 40 minutes, that Zoom, for free. But she was able to, I don't know if someone else logged in and started another one or if, or how that worked. I didn't ask. I think I'm going to try the flower side. And I like to roll it from this direction. And if I haven't done it in a while, I always do it the opposite way from the top to the bottom. And then I always wonder why I'm struggling. But for me, this is easiest to keep an eye on where it's going. Try to keep a straight edge if you can. And keep it taut. And when you get to the end. Ooh, look. And then I'm going to put some glue. Seems like a lot, but these papers, I mean, these aren't as thick as I, as the other ones I used, but I don't want them to let go. So 
and I put that in there and roll it and hold it roll it and hold it and I have my tea I can't remember the name of it um, it's something that Barb Owen was drinking and someone had recommended it to her or sent it to her as a gift and it's pretty good although for some reason it tastes like there's sugar in it which is weird because it's made out of tea bag so and then hopefully my finger didn't stick and peel the pattern off the paper, which happens sometimes. Do 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 do. All right, and then glue, glue, glue. <sighs> and there you have it. That one seems to be a little lopsided maybe so I just give them like a tap now this one for some reason is being weird but I don't know if that's glue that hasn't dried or what the heck that is so we'll just turn it over and ignore it And that's about it. Then when I get them home, I'll probably um, coat them in uh, VersaFine and dunk them in my UD dish and cover, you know, cover them in UD. I was gonna do um, the UV resin but I've yet to I don't know I think the resin I had got old and I bought new resin and so I'm thinking either I got a bad 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 bottle or maybe my light isn't functioning at the right right wattage the right wattage <sighs> but my UV resin is not hardening it's you know it's get it's tacky it's annoying and it makes me angry and i tried it both on paper and on clay and i've left it sit in there for the longest amount and then some and then days later you know sitting on the table with the sun whatever i mean i'm in minnesota we don't get a lot of sun here but um <laughs> um yeah just never that tackiness never went away so that upsets me but i like the ud coating so i'll just do that and it'll be fine but i'll have to probably paint on this one i don't like that white definitely not definitely don't like the white Ugh. so what else did I talk about anyway not much I guess I can't remember let me see how much oh I just bent my pin no oh maybe I didn't Ugh. I mean, it already is kind of bent. So it, you know, 
I don't have that smooth pin insertion. You know, it's got the little hitch. But yeah, that was just the bead thing being weird. But yeah, I might have to use that as a pin glue cap topper. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, anyway, so like I said, I'll probably finish these up and uh, it'll be time to go home. Then I'll probably do some more tomorrow. Last the last week, I think it was last weekend I did beads. I had I finished off like at a hundred. So but I don't think I sat and putzed around like this and talked about nothing as a distraction from doing the paper beads. So all right, it looks like it's still recording. It's 41 and a half minutes, so that should be enough. Um, so thanks for watching, and hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up or down. Um, and I guess normally I wouldn't say that, except people haven't actually been subscribing to my channel when they watch it so please do it doesn't cost you anything you don't even have to come back just subscribe because what I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so I can go live if I want to and um, and that's about it really so uh, again thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye or <laughs> bye.